getting so hyped right now. Anything's possible. Anything's possible! You heard it, Boston Celtics, KG, Kevin Garnett, screaming anything is possible after winning the 2008 NBA championship. Why is this relevant in Calipart, you ask? Well, 2008 is the last time Connecticut Republicans had a seat in the United States Congress. So could 2022 be the year that changes that? Like Garnett said, anything is possible. And it feels like this year more than ever, some big Republican names are stepping up to the plate. To name a few, we have Themis Claire that's taking on Richard Blumenthal in the Senate. George Logan going after Johanna Hayes in the 5th District. Jamie Stevenson taking on Jim Himes in the 4th District. And now we have Leslie Denardis running in the 3rd against longtime incumbent Rosa DeLauro. If that name sounds familiar, if you're over 70, that's because Dad Larry Denardis is the last Republicans to win in the 3rd District when he defeated a young Democratic state senator named Joe Lieberman in the 1980 race. What makes Denar Nancy Denardis think she can keep incumbent Rosa Dolores from winning a 17th term in November. Watch this. But I would say to the fact that she is the chair of the Appropriations Committee, that has been a contributing factor to the current problems we are experiencing. And for those that, you know, might not understand the term appropriations, it's the committee that controls the purse strings. She's in charge of spending and she has spent, um, she has spent, uh, I think, far too much money that has landed us into this position of having a huge federal deficit. Well, McKinney, what do you think? We got some big names at least, at least tr trying this time around, huh? Oh, yeah, and, and uh, Leslie's dad uh, served with my dad in Congress a, a generation or two ago. Um, look, uh, we've been talking about this a lot. Um, can Republicans win some of these seats? I think there's a chance. George Logan's got a great chance. Jamie Stevenson's a good candidate. But the bigger issue is we're getting better quality candidates. People are willing to step up and run. Um, and that's a sea change for the Republicans. Uh, we haven't really run a great candidate against Rosa because she's Rosa, right? But you have to run good candidates, even if you're going to lose, because it helps with the under ticket. It helps grow your party. It creates enthusiasm. So this is good news. And in the second congressional district, we talked about this off camera. The Democratic, uh, the GCCC put the second district on their frontline program, which was a shock to all of us. Yeah, I, and I really don't see the math there. Maybe you look at the last presidential district and you see the Republican performance out there and you're like, hey, wait a minute, maybe there's something to be seen there. But you see Joe Courtney. Joe Courtney is not only an absolutely great great guy, uh, reputation in the Connecticut legislature, reputation down in D.C., cuts cross party lines out there. I think he's going to be totally fine. As far as uh, Leslie Denardis, I have to admit, I had to Google search Denardis. I had never heard of her dad. Uh, but you really got to come up with a better argument than she controls the appropriations process, which is sending Connecticut hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, we are one of the states that send more to the federal government than we get back. We support many other states around this country. If, if Rosa Delora is going to get us more money in our pockets from that, I'm all in. Uh Joe Courtney is an excellent guy. He's a really good guy. Uh, Mike France is a really good candidate against I do Joe like Courtney. Mike too. Um, but, but the other thing here for, for the Republican Party, which has been in the minority in Connecticut for decades, this is about building the party. This is about getting our message out to seeing if we can attract more voters and start winning some of these seats. So, for example, uh, Joe Courtney and Rosa DeLauro aren't going to be Congress people forever. I know it seems yeah. like they will, but one day they're going to retire. And when Joe Courtney, either if he, he might lose to Mike France, but if he wins, he's going retire that's an open seat that republicans can and will win but you need to start building that base now and, and i'll give you that that a strong two-party system is actually what we need we never want one party or the other to have a lock on every election so i'll give you that but i just don't wow, know that they can that's win. good so all right guys hey so you know it's right around the corner beach season yep next on camp report why politics is at play when it comes to a day at the beach in connecticut we get back don't go away